Hi there. Welcome to Banana World. The passing of rapper Young Dolph has sent shockwaves through the streets of Memphis, turning the city into a hotbed of tension and danger. Rumors abound surrounding the circumstances of Dolph's tragic demise, with speculation swirling that he was gunned down by none other than Yo Gotti. Now, Gotti has set his sights on the members of Paper Root Empire with Key Glock at the top of his hit list. In this video, we delve deep into the harrowing story of how Yo Gotti is targeting Key Glock, exploring the history of their beef, the shocking events that have unfolded, and the complicated relationship between Young Dolph and Key Glock. Get ready for a wild ride as we uncover the truth behind Gottney's confrontation with Key Glock. Since the rise of Young Dolph in the rap game, a bitter feud has been brewing between him and Yo Gotti, two prominent figures in the Memphis music scene. The origins of this beef can be traced back to 2014 when Yogati approached Young Dolph with an offer to sign him to his CMG record label. However, Dolph rejected the offer, which didn't sit well with Gotti. At the time, Young Dolph was gaining momentum as an independent artist, carving out his own path in the industry. His independence and refusal to bow down to Yogati seemed to threaten Gotti's position as the self-proclaimed king of Memphis. Young Dolph's rise to success without the backing of a major label was a direct challenge to Gotti's dominance in the local rap scene. As Dolph's popularity grew, tensions between the two rappers escalated. Dolph publicly called out Yagati on Twitter, accusing him of trying to involve the police in his affairs the moment he turned down the offer. The ensuing conflict between the two artists fueled a series of diss tracks and subliminal shots fired back and forth. Despite Yagati's silence in response to Dolph's Twitter callout, Dolph didn't hold back. He released an album titled King of Memphis, which many believed was a direct attack on Yagati's claim to the prestigious title. Dolph also took to social media to express his feelings stating that Gotti went from being his biggest fan to his biggest critic. Dolph felt that Gottney was sending his artist to do his dirty work in an attempt to undermine his success. The tension between the two rappers reached its peak when young Dolph released a diss track titled Play With Ya Bitch. In the song, Dolph insinuated that he had a romantic relationship with the mother of Yagati's child, a move that crossed a line in the rap game. The diss track further fueled the animosity between the two artists. Yagati finally responded with his own track, titled Don't Beef With Me, in which he took aim at Young Dolph and issued a warning shot, indicating that he wasn't backing down. The beef between these two Memphis rappers had reached a boiling point, and it seemed like there was no turning back. While the public feud between Yagati and Young Dolph was grabbing headlines, there was another figure caught in the crossfire, Key Glock, also known as Young Dolph's cousin by marriage. Key Glock was signed to Dolph's Paper Route Empire label in 2017, making him a target for anyone with beef with Young Dolph, including Yogoti. Key Glock, fiercely loyal to his cousin and mentor, became a prime target for Yogati's wrath. Gotti's disdain for Dolph extended to anyone associated with him, and Key Glock found himself in the line of fire. Tensions between Key Glock and Yo Gotti were palpable, with Key Glock openly expressing his disdain for Gotti on social media. In one instance, Key Glock took to his Instagram story to diss Yo Gotti and his brother, posting a video of himself rapping along to Young Dolph's song play with Yo Bitch which was a direct shot at Gotti. Key Glock proudly rapped along to the lyrics, mocking Gotti's transformation from his biggest fan to his biggest critic. But Key Glock didn't stop there. In that same Instagram story, he mentioned you Gotti's older brother, further fueling the fire. He even posted a picture of you Gotti's brother, adding insult to injury. Despite Key Glock's public insults, Yagati remained silent, refusing to engage in a war of words with the young rapper. 
This silence only seemed to intensify Key Glock's hatred for Gotti as he continued to openly express his disdain for the Memphis rap icon. The beef between Yagotti and Young Dolph had escalated into a full-blown feud, with Key Glock caught in the middle. The tension and hostility between these artists had reached a breaking point, and it seemed like a confrontation was inevitable. The streets of Memphis were tense, awaiting the next explosive chapter in this ongoing saga. One incident that showcased Key Glock's loyalty to young Dolph occurred just moments before Dolph's tragic death. Dolph found himself embroiled in a dispute with Soldier Boy, and Key Glock's involvement in the altercation seemed to infuriate Soldier Boy even more. It all started when young Dolph made a claim during a virtual interview that he was making over $100,000 per show as an independent rapper. Soldier Boy, not believing Dolph's claim, quickly dismissed it on social media. Dolph responded to Soldier Boy's comments indirectly, but his Paper Root Empire team made sure to give Soldier Boy a piece of their mind. Key Glock, being part of the team, didn't hold back, expressing his disdain for Soldier Boy. Feeling provoked by Key Glock's response, Soldier Boy took to Instagram to threaten young Dolph, putting a $100,000 bounty on his head. He arrogantly declared, Man, quit playing. I'll put a hundred bands on his head. Doing this, you'll bet $100,000. I won't give me a location that I got a hundred K. Look, DM me the location. You can have this on my hand. This incident not only highlighted the loyalty between young Dolph and Key Glock, but also the intensity of the beef between Dolph and other artists. Key Glock's willingness to defend his cousin and mentor, even in the face of threats, demonstrated the depth of their bond. Key Glock and Young Dolph shared more than just a professional relationship in the music industry, they were family. Key Glock, born Marius Lashun Cathy, and Young Dolph, whose real name is Adolf Thornton Jr., were cousins by marriage, and their bond was unbreakable. Their collaboration extended beyond the studio. They often met at family gatherings, including Thanksgiving, where they would discuss their music, share ideas, and support each other. These family ties added an extra layer of loyalty and trust between the two artists. Their partnership resulted in the creation of several successful albums, with one of their most notable projects being the 2019 album Dumb and Dumber, which received critical acclaim and resonated with fans. The success of their collaboration continued with the release of Dumb and Dumber 2 in 2021, further solidifying their status as a dynamic duo. The tragic passing of young Dolph shook Key Glock to his core. It took him some time to publicly address the loss of his cousin and mentor. When he finally spoke out, his pain and grief were palpable. Key Glock took to his Instagram page to share throwback pictures of himself and young Dolph, accompanied by a heartfelt tribute. In his poignant message, he expressed his deep sorrow and the impact that Dolph had on his life. He wrote, Brother, I'm lost. My heart is torn, my mind about to explode. It hurts when I breathe. Why did you leave me so soon? I will never go back. You are my left-hand man, my brother, my cousin, my mentor, and my drinking buddy. Key Glock also shared the struggles he had faced in the past two years, including the loss of his father, aunt, and grandmother. The weight of these losses made Dolph's passing even more difficult to bear. Key Glock questioned why he had to endure so much pain and expressed his deep love and admiration for his cousin-turned-mentor. The relationship between Key Glock and young Dolph went beyond colleagues in the music industry. They were family. Their familial connection laid the foundation for their deep bond, which extended beyond music and into their personal lives. Key Glock and young Dolph's partnership was built on mutual respect, trust, and a shared passion for music. Despite the tragic loss of young Dolph, Key Glock's memories and experiences with his cousin-turned-mentor will live on serving as a testament to the enduring power of their relationship.
The familial ties between Key Glock and young Dolph were not just a matter of blood relation, they were a fundamental aspect of their bond. As previously mentioned, Key Glock, whose birth name is Marius Lashon Cathy, and young Dolph, born Adolf Thornton Jr., shared a connection through marriage that further solidified their relationship. This familial bond added a layer of loyalty and trust that went beyond the typical artist-manager dynamic. Their collaboration was not limited to the confines of the recording studio. It extended into their personal lives. They often attended family gatherings together, where they would discuss their music, share ideas, and provide mutual support. These moments were not only opportunities for them to bond as relatives, but also as collaborators and mentors. In 2017, young Dolph recognized Key Glock's talent and potential, leading to his signing with Dolph's record label, Paper Route Empire. This pivotal moment marked the beginning of their professional partnership and set the stage for their future success together. Under Dolph's guidance, Key Glock embarked on a musical journey that showcased their unique chemistry and pushed the boundaries of hip-hop. Their most significant collaborative project was the 2019 album Dumb and Dumber, which received critical acclaim and resonated with fans. The album showcased their undeniable chemistry and established them as a dynamic duo in the rap scene. Building on the success of their first collaboration, they released Dumb and Dumber 2 in 2021, further cementing their status as a formidable team in the music industry. However, their relationship was not solely defined by their professional endeavors. It was grounded in a deep sense of camaraderie and mutual respect. Key Glock looked up to young Dolph, not only as a mentor, but also as a brother and role model. Dolph, in turn, supported Key Glock in his musical pursuits and provided guidance and encouragement along the way.